Uh, U.S. District Judge Tanya Shudkin is a D.C. judge who was picked by President Obama. Uh, her husband was also picked by President Obama to be a judge on a different court. So she seems to be very tight with President Obama. I, I think it's pretty unusual. I can't think of another instance where a husband and wife have been appointed to, uh, to, to the bench like this by a president. Uh, but she is, she's delivering for President Obama. She is the, uh, she is left wing. She's a left wing activist. She has been the harshest sentencer of January 6th defendants. She, she sentences January 6th defendants, even when the Biden Justice Department uh, which has put too many re resources going after January 6th defendants and, and ignoring uh, violent cr crime all over the country. E even then, when the Biden Justice Department recommends no jail time, uh, Judge Tanya Shutkin puts people in jail. I mean, it's, it's a constant uh, issue with her. She said one time, uh, and this is from the Associated Press, so it's not, uh, you know, Mike Davis coming up with conspiracy theories, uh, it says uh, U.S. District Judge Tanya Shutkin called it a false equivalence to compare the actions of people protesting mostly peacefully for civil rights to the mob that was trying to overthrow the government. So she's trying to say that the BLM riots, uh, let's, let's talk about the BLM riots. The BLM leaders were self-proclaimed trained Marxist and they idolized uh, dictator Mao who killed 45 million Asians, mass murder of 45 million Asians. BLM leaders advocated for political violence, which is uh, domestic terrorism. They support Hamas, uh, including attacking civilians in Israel, our key ally. Uh, they've raised money to bail out child predators and other violent criminals. Uh, they've almost certainly committed tax fraud when they uh, raised $100 million, including nearly $100 million, including shaking down these dumb woke corporations and these big living Marxist BLM bought four mansions and they organized this anti-cop pro-criminal campaign over the last several years that have led to the spike that has led to the spike in murders, carjackings, robberies and assaults and other violent crimes and chaos in American cities. And by the way, who does that hurt the most? Poor black Americans trapped in these third world Marxist hellholes. So uh, really good work, the BLM. They, now, BLM riots that Judge Shuckin referred to, they attacked the White House, including torching the Secret Service guard station and, and sending president, the president of the United States to the bunker. Uh, they torched St. John's Church near the White House. They violently assaulted a U.S. Senator, Rand Paul, visiting the White House. They attacked the Portland Federal Courthouse on a nightly basis for many, many months. And they these riots led to 12 deaths and uh, nearly $2 billion in damage. And that contrast that with January 6th, where people showed up with a permit from the National Park Service to a lawful protest. It got out of hand. There were bad actors in these, this mostly peaceful protest, including feds, and it uh, got out of hand and it turned into a riot. There were people who trespassed into the Capitol, which is wrong, but there were people who were led into the Capitol, right? Horn Man, the guy who got sentenced to prison for like three years, was led into, this, uh, led into the Senate floor by the Capitol Police and given a tour. I mean, this is crazy that Judge Tanya Shudkin thinks that the BLM riots that went on for many, 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 many months were less problematic than the January 6th riot that got out of control for several hours on January 6th, and then they they were able to resolve the issue several several hours later. How many how many she said that they were trying to overthrow the government? How many insurrectionists get to the floor? a Senate floor of a nation's capital and don't burn the damn place down. They take selfies and walk through velvet ropes. Give me a damn break, Judge Tucker Chuckin. Hold on, Judge Chuckin, when did she make this comparison? This is in her court proceedings when she's railroading these January 6th defendants and throwing the book at them. She Remember, she is a former former public defender. She's, she's, she's supposed to be pro-defendant rights and she has just completely ignored those when she goes after these January 6th 
defendants. And look, I'm not excusing what happened on January 6th. There were, but you know, to lump everyone together on January 6th and to say that they're all part of some seditious conspiracy or some part of some some part of like uh, insurrection to overthrow the government is just insane. Or do do all the people who supported BLM are they responsible for the two billion dollars and damage and twelve people who were killed? Of course not, right? So why are they trying to say that everyone who showed up on January sixth is responsible for the people who trespassed and then the people who were violent? That's that's nonsense to lump all these people together. But that's the play by the Democrats to try to eliminate competition politically. 